3.1 miles into the hike. We're still hiking. Technically, it was um, a two mile flat road run up and then the hike started. So I guess only a mile or so into the hike. I think this this trail is about um, four miles the hike, but definitely might not make it today. It is really hot and the dogs are starting to get exhausted and quite frankly me too. So definitely to try it some other time, possibly next weekend. Um, the 4th of July weekend that is and start early and finishing it up it's a moderate hike it's not too bad there's only one area that is steep but even then not that steep um, then here it is um, if you have bad knees or not in super great physical shape, I'd say bring some hiking poles. But so far, my knee's doing fine. Of course, at your own pace, you can tell because my husband Bart is way up front. Not sure if you could see him way over there. And um, with Teddy. Um, his pace is much faster than mine, and that's fine. And Sophie and I are the cart horses in the back, but we're still plugging along. And that's what it's all about. Doing it at your own pace. Enjoy nature. Listen to your body. And keep plugging along. Gorgeous place. Really hope to be able to bring you guys along sometime. Some people to bring me. It's off um, Santa Cruz. It's like on off 17, Highway 17. So it took a while to get here, but you know, definitely worth it. So let me know when you want to join me. Well, um, caravan into here, just carpool and make a group and make it here super early and plenty of water and we can do it here's Bart here waiting for me sorry slowing down because I'm making a video once again <laughs> we're doing great and here, there it is gorgeous Lots of redwoods. I just love being in there. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can show my face in here. Not sure. Let's see. Hi. So you can see what it looks like behind me. Probably all sweaty. There's some bugs a little bit. So it would be a good idea to bring some bug spray. They love me. So, next time. Right? If you're like me and bugs love you, just bring some bug spray. Okay? Later. Alright. That's it for now. This is actually the beginning of the hike for itself. We just finished it. And right here, this is the flat road, which is about two miles of flat road um, that we did before the hike to take us from the parking. Here's the pond right here. It's um, coming, we did, uh, we did the trail around the pond, closest to the pond, and it's super exposed. And that's when the dogs and myself got super hot and um, just extremely hot and just kind of hyper, however how you call it, I don't know. Anyways. Um, so here's that pond right here. There's some picnic tables. We could always sit there and have, have a bite after the hike. See more picnic tables over here. And there's another trail down here. I'm not sure where it goes. And here's Bart. 
Bart, say hi. <laughs> And here's the pond right here. We will be taking the other trail that's a little bit more covered. Yeah. As opposed to around the pond. It's still water, so it's really nasty. Um, yeah, you can see that trail next to the pond. That's the one we took coming back, and it was harsh. Oh my god, that sun. Ugh. Anyways, I'm going to make it quick, as you can see super hot super hot super hot and um, yeah that's like two miles from here to the car let's see how long it takes us to uh, walk back I don't know maybe faster maybe slower who knows anyways those dogs are off leash right now they're running Teddy's running in front Sophie as well um, no worse um, no worse for wear um, my knee's a little tight. Uh, the hamstring pull I had from way back in November is rearing its ugly head. I really thought this thing was healed, but it's telling me no. I could feel it. It's tight. I'm going to do lots and lots and lots of stretching and lots of icing tonight. So, yeah. I'm really looking forward to my post-hike meal which is in the car in the cooler, which is a nice, um, it's a nice salad. So looking forward to that and looking forward to a nice, cold, super cold, green smoothie once I get home. That's what we'll have for dinner. So yeah, this is it. I guess that's three trails. We took the one closest to the trip to the pond right here, that little one, and then there is another one right here that says trail this way, and then there's this one over here. I'm not sure if that's the one back. Is this the one back? It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's this one right here in the middle. Well, let's take it. Is it still taking us around the pond? Oh, we'll take uphill anytime. If it's shaded, we'll take it. Better than exposed sun and no heel and flat road. It's fine. Get a last bit of work out at the end. It's Saturday, July 2nd. I'm about um, 0.3 miles into the hike. Um, should be about hopefully an 8 to 10, uh, um, 10 mile hike today. We, it's the same Sten, um, Sanborn Park, Sanborn Park, and we decided to take a different entrance. And this one, this entrance is no joke. It starts straight up hiking. This is me turning down. You get to see the road I just traveled right here, okay? And let me turn, turn around so you get a 360 view. Still super nice, nice. I like it, at least for me. And it's, it's great because it's shaded. I decided to do the different entrance because it was shaded. However, what you get in this one is you start up, you start right off hiking. There's no two mile flat road. So I exchanged the two mile of flat road completely exposed to shaded, but right out of the gate hiking. So, so you have an idea right now, my heart rate is, give me a second, uh, huh, it's settled down to about 126, since I'm videotaping and walking a bit slower, but, um, within the first five minutes, I went right up to, um, I was at 148 or so, so, straight up cardio, so that should be good. Some nice good cardio for me. So, definitely see moderate. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera so you guys can see um, the road ahead, okay? Take a look. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure if you're able, ah, you're actually seeing the back of me and not the front of me. I can't flip it while I'm videotaping. I'll just have to 
turn around as if I'm walking backwards. So you see behind me right here, that's the road up, right? Right here pointing, that's up, that's me turning backward as if I was going heading down. And so I'm now flipping around again and going straight up that road I just showed you. And right here behind me, that the one I just traveled. So, all right, this is it. Um, we'll give you some other updates later. Right now, it's just me and the doggies. Um, Bart is trying to get his workout in, going at my pace he can't. So what he does every time the dogs poop, he picks it up, goes back down to the car, and leaves the poop, and then catches up back with me. So that way we both have our workouts. Okay? Ta-ta. Talk to you guys later. See ya.